released onto your personal PC platforms back in 2017, and on other platforms later on, Rifles of Aether is a fast-paced platform fighter, molding characters based on the elements of life and making them fight to the death on platforms. From a crazy plant wolf to a land whale and to even a fire lion that stands on its hind legs, there's a whole variety of freshly designed characters that this fighting game has to offer. And yes, when I say fast-paced, Dan Fornes, the main developer behind Rivals, is a big fan of the Super Smash Bros. series. From being involved in the game's competitive scene back in college, to developing a remake, or demake as you may, of the original game in the style of something on the original Game Boy, with Super Smash Land. And if you think going from this, to this, is one huge leap, our man Dan has actually worked on more titles than you think. Especially when he worked with Microsoft Studios on titles like Trials Evolution, Dust and Elysian Tale, and even Minecraft back in the day. So when it comes to game development, he knows what he's doing, especially when the game is a spiritual successor to the fan game before it. But while we're here talking about his creative genius, let's talk about the characters. While you may move your eyesight onto the two guest characters the game offers, that being Ori and Sign from Ori in the Blind Forest and Shovel Knight from Shovel Knight, the rest of this original cast of characters offer so much more than what's seen on the surface to make them really stand out. With Super Smash Bros, characters are here from their own respective franchises across many different companies big and small, from all over the years of gaming, and this claim to fame has only happened due to its presence over the past 20 years, which has allowed the next entries to get even bigger and better, becoming the biggest media franchise of multiple properties. While Rivals is tiny in comparison to that, it doesn't use its popularity points of having third party representation to make it stand out among others in the genre. I jokingly mentioned in the beginning that characters are based on elements, which is actually true. That isn't even a joke. That's just what the entire game is based around, with that fact even being present in the title art. However, there is so much to it, as each elemental character stands out in their design, playstyle, and attacks. Like Zetterburn, with the flame of a main and his dominant pause being both a choice to the design and a focus on the character's moveset. And Rastor, with the air pilot get up to show the character's focus on airborne attacks, which excel in combat. But there's more to what the roster has on offer, with variety in element speciality and playstyle which can cater to many different players. But what if you wanted more? What if this lineup is less than exciting? What if you- You read the f***ing title? Opened as a beta testing feature back in September 2019, Rivals of Aether introduced integration with the Steam Workshop, exclusive to Steam. Another storefront exclusive? They can't keep getting away with this. With the introduction of the workshop, users have the chance to create and share their own works to use in-game. From stages, buddies, alternative skins, and even entire new game modes. And while that's absolutely cool, nothing is more important, noticed, and loved than the all-round spectacle to the scene of custom characters. Finally, the days have gone where we must scowl the internet look for decent characters for Mugen. No more bricked wheeze for our attempts to play Project M, rid of the dreams just being dreams. Reality is now, and we have the power. And yet we don't use it wisely. With this, people now have more content to indulge in, from either downloading the custom content and having the time of their lives, or dipping their toes into the sea of creativity and trying something out for themselves. Especially when this is wide open, with documentation just provided to you with everything there to follow. It almost makes me want to try it out myself, but all I know is how to apply S shake to a character still and talk into the microphone for 8 minutes. But even with this all provided to us on a fancy plate, do we truly deserve this power at our fingertips? Honestly, no. <laughs> Are you seeing some of this shit? <laughs> With a game so seemingly inspired by Super Smash Bros, you know that the community will bring that stuff back one way or another. With reimagining to movesets or creative differences to their inner workings, you can find a variety of Smash oriented characters to add to your game. Like Kirby by Dumbass Luna, here with the titular copy ability, using the neutral special of the opponent to give the upper hand. While primarily easy to use with the main roster, it can even be compatible with other workshop characters, with a user curated list that is constantly updated. Jigglypuff by Turpix. With the full-on everything from, including the Jeng. They also have the ability to grab ledges, 
which is bull****. Me Brawler by Drake1035, with a full array of different special attacks to choose between before the match starts, to really spice up each game. And there is just so much more to find, not just Smash Bros related works. From work in progress content to finished pieces, you can find something in the sea of creativity. Especially with a slew of original characters to try out, with honestly really great designs and fun movesets. Hell, even some of these characters fit right into the game's themes so much that they're going to be implemented into the real game on all platforms, which is honestly amazing to hear. But then we have what I like to call the funny. And I can't put this into something coherent or special. Like, what the f even is this anymore? One hundred percent accurate Meta Knight. He's like Meta Knight, but dumb looking. His attacks are fast. Whoa, it's like Brawl. Speed runner Mario. Quick fast moves with just half an apex. Ha ha! One hundred percent accurate Cloud. Stupidly fast, and his hitboxes are large because long speed runner Link. An actually really good one from this trend. While having the initial design of a funny character, his moveset is actually more technical and can actually make matches be hype as all hell when this moveset is used to its fullest. 100% accurate fuck. Ronald McDonald. Okay, in essence, this isn't even original. One hundred percent accurate Mario Falco. Cosmic Ronald. Spamus. One hundred percent accurate Turbo. Of destruction Falco. Ultra Instinct Fox. This is chaos. Right. I'll give some credit to these four while being lenient with Fox, but these are fairly original with actually having decent movesets that you could actually win against. And with Ronald, you can choose to be OP as sh**. Accurate Fox, Speedrunner Mario, and Link are based on the Something About animated series or videos by Terminal Montage. And if you were to watch a few, you get a basic idea of the origins for their movesets. Ronald McDonald has been joked about for years across the internet, but the idea of him being overpowered and cheap is similar to his implementation to the Mugen fighting game engine, with the rivaled version being directly taken from the most infamous iteration of the character. But with the rest? It's just a copy job. Get character. Draw in paint. Make them f***ing strong. Rinse and repeat. Same with these clones. Just turn that sh** up to 100. That's a thing of the past now though. So now we can enjoy these characters in peace. Well, I hope. But hey, that's just what I think. The Rivals of Aethel Workshop is honestly really great, with creative and interesting additions to spice up your gaming experience, so I'd highly recommend you download a few submissions of what others offer and try it out yourselves. And don't forget to get friends involved because that will honestly make the experience more worth it. Many thanks to the supporters on Ko-Fi who helped me continue to do this type of content. This time I'd like to give a special thanks to Miko Mino with a £1 donation, commenting hi lol, Ghost with the £2 donation, and to Bellyman with a £20 donation, commenting remember, stay based and red-pilled, not cringe and blue-pilled.